Hey and welcome to Road to Draw. Today I will show you how to create this old Audi logo inside PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint today because I need to get this connected circles shape which will be a little bit harder to do inside Microsoft Word but otherwise everything should be same as, as we, if we were using Microsoft Word. So the left one is an image, the right one is the actual creation from the PowerPoint. So let's start with the blank presentation. I will just paste this image in here. I, will z I don't need any ideas. I will zoom all the way in and I will start by replicating those four circles. So I will select insert shapes and I will select this circle hollow shape and I will press the shift key so I'm drawing a circle and I'll just try to make it in the very same size as the first circle like this. Then I will use this yellow handle to make sure that the circle is the same size like this. Then I will press the control key on my keyboard which will serve for copying and the shift key so it will moving, be moving into one line. And then with control and shift key being pressed, I will move this circle to the right like this. And then I will do it two more times. One more time and one more time. And you can see the spacing is right, so that's great. So I will select all four shapes. And in the format ribbon, I will select merge shapes union. That will give me one connected shape which is uh, needed for applying those three effects. I will right click this shape and select format shape and I will start by changing the line to no line and fill to some gray color and I will open the more colors drop down and I will maybe do it like I don't know I believe I was using around 150 whatever uh, value for this uh, for the previous tutorial or previous uh, design so I will keep it this way right now I will open the effects and in the free rotation I will select preset being the perspective front and in the, in the form, 3D format options I will just raise the bevel all the way up to I don't know like 25 or so and I will maybe change this bevel not to be rounded but this uh, slanted so it will be it will give me a little bit hard, harder edge I can still choose this uh, angle but it's you know it's losing a little bit of lighting information so I will stick with this slant one I think I will keep the height to 6 points, this is a default one and I will just change the material to a little bit more shiny one, maybe the plastic will be great, it gives me more highlights, I can also use the metal one, maybe it's too much of the highlights, I will stick with the plastic one and if you take a closer look of the on the left logo you can see that the angle is coming from like the 45 degree angle whereas here it's coming more through to the top, if I start increasing the angle it's rotating to the right side so I have to go all the way to 360 it actually don't, don't, doesn't allow me to 360 so 350 and then I will you know just go down to maybe 340 I think that 340 looks fine it's somehow simulating the light coming from the left top corner you can see there is a little bit of the outline so I will add this by adding the contour to maybe two points or so it's not that dark so I will set the color for the contour to some darker gray color maybe not the tinted one maybe this one instead okay i think that this one looks fine almost the same and if i zoom in you can see that on the left side those inner parts those bevels are being white all the way around all the circles so what i can do is i can draw those circles i can select insert shapes circle and i can try to draw a circle around the edge in the inner edge like this then I will position it properly with my arrow keys on my keyboard set the shape fill to be no fill and the outline to be of course white and I may change the width of the outline to maybe one and a half points and I have to zoom all the way in and just resize it a tiny little bit to make sure that it's really over the edge like like this then I will use the same trick I will press the control and shift key and move it to the right multiple times I mean three times Again, Control and Shift key, so I copy this without the need to press the Control C and Control V shortcuts. And I will do it one more time for the last one. Again, I will use a keyboard uh, arrow keys to position it properly. And I think that we are almost done. I say almost because if you take a closer look at the logo on the left side, it's like a little bit tinted to the blue. And we can use the same trick which we have used for the Toyota logo. If I open the color properties, more colors, instead of trying to um, search for the light, right color in here, because if we move it like to the blue, it's too much of the blue. We only have, we only need a little bit of the blue tint. 
so what I will do instead is in, in the blue channel I will just raise the blue channel a little bit to just like four or five points so the red and green values are the same and the blue value has a little bit of more value to it so it's a little bit tinted to the blue so maybe like this and it may not be visible on the video due to compression but we get this metal look and that's it that's it for the drill the only difference compared to my previous creation is I've also recreated the Audi uh, font in here just because it's not possible to download it. It's also an old font, so I'm not quite sure if it will be ever being, uh, you know, ab available to download. Maybe what I can do is I can show you how I've done it. It's easy as well. It only takes few steps. So if I scroll over to the logo for the and it's a little bit harder because it's trying to jump back to my you know circles I can select insert shapes being the freeform shape and then I will just trace it and when I'm tracing those straight lines I can press the shift key so it's snapping to the you know some angles it's a little bit easier for me to do it this way so at least some of the lines are really straight as they should be and since I'm tracing this very fast, it may not be perfect. I will select the selection pane and hide it for now. Then I will draw this rectangle uh, triangle in, inside again using the freeform shape like this. And I'm pressing the shift key here, connect it together. I will show the previous one. I will select format, merge shapes, subtract. And I have the A letter for the U. I will insert a new ellipse like this. Well, it's not really the right size, but almost the right size. Then I will, of course, insert a new rectangle, connect it together using the union tool, hide it for now, insert not the photo album, sorry, but the shapes ellipse, and draw the small ellipse in here, insert a new rec um, rectangle, of course. I will draw it, draw it a little bit bigger, merge it together, union and then with the previous one I will just subtract it for the D letter I will use two big circles one being this one and the second one being the one in the hole I hate when this uh, menu is disappearing all the time okay like this then I will of course use the union f oh, sorry the subtract function and draw this you know top part using the freeform shape again shift in here you can see this is a little bit you know around it but I, I think I can go with this shape for now then I will you know add those together I may right click select edit points and just get rid of this horrible shape in here but for the sake of making the draw as quick as possible or as short, or short as possible I will just uh, end up with this being like this okay I'll select all four shapes I will move it to the right side. I will set the shape outline to be no outline and for the fill I will use the eyedropper tool and just sample the red color from the original logo. And that's it. We have a nice looking Audi logo with almost no effort including the uh, you know type itself. As you can see I, I may still change those circles to be a little bit bolder. That will also hide the fact that they are not aligned very properly so i will change the width to maybe two points that will suddenly looks better okay and that's that's really it thanks for watching see you next time